Hey folks, uh, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect up your FlySky FSA8S receiver uh, to a Vortex 150. So, uh, as standard, when you get the, uh, the FSA8S receiver, um, this black bit here has the red, black and white wires connected to it. Um, but as you can see on, on the receiver here, the, um, the white wire is uh, for the S-Bus and the yellow wire is for PPM. And because I've been using PPM on my, uh, my old Vortex, I'm going to stick with PPM for this one. And, um, and that means that I need to uh, make up a wire to connect them. So you get with a Vortex uh, several little different connector wires, none of which actually will, is compatible with the <laughs> socket on the back of the uh, FSA8S. Uh, so you want to find one of these ones where you've got the uh, the red is at that end and then the black is next to the white one at the far end and then that one between the red and the black is not used. And then what you want to do is connect uh, the red to red, the black to black and the yellow to white on, oops, show that in there. In the frame yeah the red to red black to black and then yellow to white so i'm going to do that with a little bit of soldering and uh, i'll come back when i finish that so now i've soldered these wires together and i've just the white wire i've just covered with uh, a bit of white tape because we don't want it shorting against anything else in the inside of the quad and uh, if we just count these wires here um, starting from the left the, uh, the red wire goes to number one, the black wire goes to number three, and then the yellow one, which goes into this white wire, goes to number four. So that will give you the correct setup. And then the next step is to uh, bind the receiver. So this isn't quite straightforward either. This is a, a bit I really had trouble with. And, um, and once I found out how to do it, that was no surprise. So what I'm going to do is uh, just disconnect this here and I'm going to, for powering up the receiver, I'm going to leave it connected to the quad at that end and I'm just going to plug the receiver in and out there. Uh, but I do need to power up the quad for this and of course I should have taken the blades off first um, but I'm going to live a little bit dangerously. I've chopped through enough uh, battery cables through crashes without wanting to damage them anymore. So got the receiver here and there's a little bind button right at the beginning here so what you want to do is press and hold that one as you power it up perhaps we get it the right way around and then if you've done that correctly it'll be flashing you get that rapid red flashing and then you get your receiver and uh, uh, so your transmitter sorry make sure you've set it to the right model first and then you press the bind button here and turn it on and it says rx binding and you think oh, what's going on there and it looks like nothing's going on but actually what's happened here is that little red light is now blinking slowly and that means it's correctly bound and the reason it doesn't say anything on here it's because it doesn't have telemetry, this receiver, so it the transmitter doesn't know it has bound. So you're looking for that slow flashing red light. So if I turn the, receive, uh, the transmitter off, power off the receiver again, uh, turn the transmitter back on without the bind button held, just turn it on normally. And then power up the receiver. Uh, it should get a nice uh, steady red light there. That means it's all working. So I'll just unplug that. So the next step is to squash all the wires up to get it to fit inside the quad frame, which it does. I'll just put them around in the loop like that. With the... I want that to go underneath, don't I? I can't see what I'm doing. I've actually taped the um, the aerial to the side of the quad there underneath it, so just loop that round. The 
little bit tricky. Not a lot of them to work with. There, looks good. Make sure that goes in the hole there. And then it'll just be a case of tightening the screws up. So now just a quick reminder of the transmitter settings uh, for the Vortex. Uh, press this button, system, uh, you've got the right model. Uh, type, I used helicopter fixed pitch, I've also done it with aircraft, it just changes some of the other um, options that you've got but it doesn't affect the main operation of it. Um, the uh, model setup, that's, this is where the key configuration is. So PPM receiver output on and what's the other one? Auxiliary channels of course. So you want channel 5 to be switch C. So this is switch C up here, and that's what enables you to put it into horizon mode or acro mode or um, angle mode. Uh, so those are the, uh, the configurations that I've made for this one. I've also set some, uh, uh, set some, no, not there. Oh yeah, I've set some, uh, I've got a couple of, uh, I've got a normal, slightly down-tuned uh, set of rates, or I've got the uh, just the normal full-on rates, which is what I tend to fly in mostly now. Um, but when I was first setting it up, it was useful to have the uh, slightly beginner one, especially for flying it uh, line of sight. So, having done that, uh, you can see in the quad, just on, in there, you can see the receiver tucked nice and safely away in there. And uh, let's just make sure that's all working. Let's tuck that in there. I've found these batteries to be a bit of a tight fit. quite a lot of damage during crashes to the wires on them. It would be useful to have some sort of guards either side to protect it. So there, that's it. Let's just... Uh... That's all working. And uh, the last thing I'd like to show uh, is one of the great things about this uh, Vortex 150, as well as its fantastic flying characteristics. If you happen to have an old Vortex 285 case like this, uh, you can get the, the inner out of the out of the box and uh, you can pop, pop that in there like that and fit your transmitter inside as well. So you've got a nice little uh, package there which has got everything you need to go flying in it. Anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Cheerio!